welcome everybody welcome to another affinity photo tutorial this week we are going to do our tutorial on the ipad i'm using the ipad pro 11 inch here with the apple pencil and we are going to create this photo here on the screen now which is the invisible close effect so as usual let's get started I'm going to start up over here with our photo just of the girl in the jacket here and we're going to start by coming over to our selections persona just up here and we are going to click on our selections brush i'm going to bump it up to about oh, about six six and a half pixels and we are going to start selecting the jacket and the girl we actually want to select the whole girl at this point i've got snapping to edges turned on down here it makes it a little bit easier when we're doing our selection we're just going to go all the way around and select our girl here in the jacket making sure we get all those little bits here now we can zoom in and have a better look just with pinch with two fingers like you do on your iPhone or your iPad to zoom in. We are just going to get all those little bits that we miss and to get these little tight areas here we want to come down here where it says add or subtract and we can go to subtract. We can reduce our brush a little bit smaller just to get into those little tight areas. Just going to zoom in here and go back to add and just get these bits down the side here. Okay, once we are happy with our selection, we can go back to the photo persona and over here to layers and the little plus symbol here, we can hit the plus and go mask layer. So we should end up like that. Now we're just going to get rid of these marching ants. So to do that, we actually have to go back to this selections persona. Three little dots up here on the left hand side and deselect okay back again to our photos persona back again to our plus symbol and we're going to go pixel layer and we want that pixel layer on top we're going to come over here to our colors and we want to pick a nice bright red right in the middle there and come over over here to our left hand side to our flood fill tool and we're going to flood that with red. Okay, back to our layers. And we're just going to open that up where we've got the layer with the girl in the mask. And we're going to drop this red layer under the image, right under the image, so it gives us a red background. Okay, again to our plus symbol, we want another pixel layer. We want that pixel layer on top, so you can just grab it and drag it up to the top. We want it on the top. Back to our colors over here, and we want to use white. We want to use our paintbrush on the left hand side over here painting in white good width for the brush is about 4.5 hit OK and again you can zoom in and out if you want to with those with the pinch of the two fingers and we're just going to start painting around the jacket we want the outline of the jacket so this is where your skills come in we want to go right around all the jacket and as much detail as we can get makes it look a lot better so we want to go around the jacket picking up all the detail see how much skill your artist skills come in here I think you get the idea so I'll probably speed this up a bit until we've got all the outline done around the girl okay once we're happy with our outline and you've had a look to see you're happy with everything that you've done fantastic what we're going to do now is come down to this image layer here and we're going to click on the mask we're going to come over here we want to be painting in red the same red color as our background we've got our brush here and the brush that we want is a basic brush and I'm going to choose this one here and I'm just going to bump up the brush size a little bit and this is where your coloring in comes in make sure you're on the mask layer here and we're going to start coloring in and this is where your coloring in skills come back to you and we want to paint in all the jacket just the jacket not a face I'm going to do this fairly quickly but I know again you guys can take your time and do all this a lot slower keep resizing your brush if you need to to get into those smaller areas down here you need to get into smaller areas just resize your brush and all those little tight areas if you make a mistake you can come to undo okay once you're colored in and you're happy with what you've done as I said you're going to do much better than I did because you're going to take your time but the next thing we're going to do is going to come back over to where our photos are. We've got our background photo set up. Just holding one finger down, I'm going to hit copy, 
go back, back to our girl with the jacket, holding one finger down again and paste. So we've got our picture in there. I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller. Back over to our layers. Now that background image, I want to drag under just the image here. That will get rid of the jacket and give us that invisible closed look. Okay, the next thing we can do, we can come up here to the pixel layer, over to FX here. We can add an outer glow. Just turn that on. And I think we just need an outer glow just on the radius here. We can hold your finger on the radius should pop up this little box, one or two pixels and hit OK. Give it a little bit of a glow. Tiny maybe little bit of Gaussian blur again, maybe just one pixel. OK, awesome. OK, so there we have it guys. That's my first iPad tutorial with the invisible close effect. There's a lot more you could do with this photo with some adjustments and effects but I just wanted to give you the basic idea of how to do it and as I said before you can take a lot more time with your selections and with your drawing. So if you did like this Affinity Photo iPad tutorial, nice and quick and easy one to start off with, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel and until next time I'll say to you be brave, go out and do something amazing and we'll see you in the next video.